and I'm off on another adventure. Yeah, this is pucker, mate. I'm a bit nervous. Welcome to the Yorkshire Dales. Breathtaking. Absolutely amazing. Hi, my name's Thomas Martinez, and I've had a lot of hobbies over the years, but I fit in between my full-time job as a tattoo artist. But now it's time for my journey into the pursuit of speed and adventure. I am the cycling tattooist. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today's Tuesday the 15th of March and I'm excited because later on I'm going to be packing up the car and I'm off on another adventure. Woohoo! So I've just been out on the uh, local loop getting in a few miles before I uh, head off on my adventure. It was a little bit grim when I set off, but absolutely lovely now. Spring's finally coming. So yeah, as I say, I'm off on another adventure. I'm excited for this one because it's a little bit different. I'm gonna be going to see my friend Mitch. He owns a tattoo shop called Gold Room Tattoo, and it's in Leeds. Tonight, I'm gonna be heading up there, and then tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing a tattoo in his shop. Thursday, I'm actually gonna be getting tattooed myself and I'm a little bit scared. And then finally Friday, I'm gonna be doing some exploring in the Yorkshire Dales. I'm really looking forward to it. I've never been there myself, but I've heard a lot of good things. So yeah, I'm certainly excited. So what with this primarily being a cycling channel, the thought of watching me do a tattoo or getting tattooed might not be that enticing. So if that is the case and you're only here for the cycling, then use the time codes for the chapters and feel free to skip away. Anyways, I'll best get cracking and get myself to Leeds. Day. Been rushing around like a blue ass fly. Yeah, it was a good day. It was really nice seeing Mitch again. I haven't seen him in a long time. I'm cream crackered now though, I tell you. Better get myself to bed soon, I think. Now tomorrow I've got a bit of a day ahead of me as I'm gonna be getting tattooed by Mitch. And uh, well, it was quite a common thing that tattoo artists don't actually like getting tattooed themselves. I'm definitely looking forward to the end result, but the actual process of getting the tattoo, not so much. <laughs> I tell you what, this galaxy is pretty delicious. Anyways, I'm gonna uh, chill out for a minute and then get an early night because, yeah, gonna need all the energy I can muster for tomorrow. <laughs> See you guys in the morning. Let's go! So I 
it's a lovely sunny day here in Leeds and the weather is looking even nicer tomorrow so that is looking good for my ride in the Yorkshire Dows. But first things first, I'm going to get my head tattooed by Mitch and I'm a bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. Anyways, in true Thomas style, I'm running late. So, sorry Mitch, but yeah, let's hurry up and get to the shop and uh, commence a day of pain. <laughs> really don't know why I do this to myself. Every time I get another tattoo, I think the same thing. Why am I doing this? But luckily, I haven't got a lot of room left, so at some point, I won't ever have to have a tattoo ever again. It's weird because obviously, I love my job and I love tattoos, but there comes a point when you've just had enough. Anyways, enough waffle. I'm gonna uh, quickly run in the petrol station, get myself some snacks. This is uh, Mitch's shop. I'm just driving past it now. It's a pretty cool old building. Yeah, proper cool. Anyways, let's get to it. What's the board record? 14, 14. 14? Alright, here we go. <laughs> Gonna break the shop pull up record. Eleven was the most I managed. What, over or under? Oh, you can do either. Right. You've got to do full extension, so. Oh, f down yeah. and then right up, yeah. started doing some upper body stuff the other day because um, like where I do like so much cycling now like, my upper body's just wasting away yeah. <laughs> like, I've literally got nothing anymore like where I used to do so much more BMXing like yeah, it's the opposite of BMX you're the, the little legs and yeah like, exactly yeah <laughs> YouTube vloggers, eh? <laughs> oh. How was that then, mate? Was that brave? Absolutely fine. <laughs> yeah, pretty easy day, that. Well, apart from the uh, I could tell you were, the last I mean, you, bit. I could tell you'd had enough by then. <laughs> yeah. You can tell, can't I reckon, you? Like? I reckon the last hour I was struggling. I know, if I'd have said, oh, we've got another 45 minutes, hour to go, you'd be like, nah. Yeah. But, like, because it's like 10 minutes, everyone gets through it. But, no. yeah, you can always tell when people have had enough. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's about. Thanks for bringing me back. It's all gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Day two in Leeds done. It's been a mega day. Just want to say a massive thank you to Mitch for uh, all the hospitality. It's been a uh, great little trip. And obviously, a massive thank you for my amazing new tattoo. Check that bad boy out. I mean, I'm a bit chipper now, but yeah, it wasn't very enjoyable when I was getting it done, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. And uh, yeah, it's exactly what I was after. So yeah, thanks very much, Mitch. So yeah, I'm just gonna chill out at the hotel now, get a bit of rest, try and uh, pick my energy levels back up, ready for a uh, an epic day out on the bike tomorrow. So stay tuned and see what the Yorkshire Dales have to offer.
Incredible. So welcome to day three of my trip and welcome to the Yorkshire Dales. Oh, I heard it was nice, but yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. Obviously it does help that I have lucked out and got a beautiful day for it, but absolutely amazing. Now it's perfect riding weather. It's about 12 degrees. I'm probably a little bit overdressed actually. I'm a bit warm already. I'm only three miles into this right now. I've got a 66 mile route planned. Certainly gonna be fun. Let's go. This place is, uh, is pretty amazing. I know I said that before, but it's been a little while since I uh, explored somewhere new like this and I forgot how great it is. Breathtaking. This uh, route certainly isn't disappointing. I've only clocked up just over 11 miles so far and I've been riding for just under an hour. So I'm not going particularly fast today, but that's not the point of this ride. I've just come to enjoy myself and try and take it all in. Now talking of the route, I just want to say a massive thank you to Cold Dark North from Instagram. He's the guy that actually put this route together for me. He uh, certainly knows this area like the back of his hand, as they say. And yeah, he's put together a spectacular route for me. He did actually give me a few options. And uh, me being me, picked this one, which was uh, the longest one out of the bunch. As he would describe it, it's pretty stabby. It's uh, up and down the whole day. But uh, we love a climb, don't we? So yeah, thanks again to Cold Dark North. Go check him out on Instagram. He posts some wicked stuff. And if ever you need a route, hit him up. He knows the Dowers and he knows the Peak District really well. So yeah, I suggest you go check it out. While I'm stopped quick, I figure I'll have a little snack. Quick little Thomas's top tip for you. If you're staying in a hotel the night before your ride, take advantage of the breakfast patisserie selection. You might be lucky and have some of these little pocket-sized pan au chocolat or croissants or anything like that. Perfect ride food. Grab a few, chuck them in your pocket and off you go. So let's get back on the road. As I mentioned, this route is a little bit of a spiteful one. It's got, I think, 11 climbs on it, uh, a few of which are pretty iconic around here anyway. I'm currently just over 16 miles in. I think in around 15 miles or so, I've got the first pretty decent one, which is known as Butter Tubs. Now, I hadn't actually heard of this climb. I would imagine maybe quite a lot of you have, as it was featured on the tour uh, I can't remember exactly what year, but quite a few years ago now. Usually that means it's going to be a pretty decent climb. And then the one that I was really looking forward to, one called Park Rash, which again, if people have heard of that, they'll know that it's definitely a spicy one. It's got a pretty horrendous ramp in the middle of it. But that one comes in at just around the 50 mile mark. So yeah, I'm going to be uh, probably a little bit sore by that point. But we'll see what I've got left in the tank. Maybe I'll give it some beans up it. Taking it pretty easy, as I mentioned earlier. I've just been uh, cruising along at an average speed of 16 mile an hour right now. Average power is 214 watts. Not to uh, be one of these people that bang on about excuses, <laughs> but I am only a week over COVID. So I'm definitely not feeling 100%, but I certainly couldn't resist getting out and checking out these roads. Is 
there anything more spiteful than a climb and a headwind all in one oh. dirty headwind i'm going downhill coasting at only 19 mile an hour <laughs> but fingers crossed that means i'm gonna have a tailwind on the way home and you can't beat a tailwind home can you number six of eleven i'm starting to regret my decision for going for the longer route <laughs> Woo! don't think i was ready for this i'm definitely not over the covid i know that much anytime i approach near my max heart rate i think back there i hit 201 and uh i was certainly gasping for breath i can really feel that my respiratory system isn't quite up to par and uh, just struggling to get the oxygen in. Oh well, enough excuses, I'll carry on. But I think it's safe to say, I won't be going full gas up that last climb, as I'll probably keel over. The sun's still out, absolutely beautiful out. Couldn't have picked a better day. I just had a quick stop back there in a town unfortunately named Hawes that's H-A-W-E-S no not that kind of Hawes I had planned to stop there but unfortunately the chippy that I wanted to go to was closed so I ended up getting a pretty rubbish corner shop sandwich chuck it in the old burner it's all fuel it's gonna be a bit tough considering I'm suffering already just keep pedaling, focus on having a good time, and uh, try not to die. <laughs> Look at this. I know I keep saying it, it's probably getting boring by now, but <laughs> it's just mental. Absolutely amazing. Imagine living somewhere like this and having this on your doorstep. <laughs> Imagine living there, absolutely amazing. I'd hate to think how much it is, <laughs> but you can dream, can't you? Oh man, imagine living around here. So I'm currently on 43 miles. I've uh, reined in my pace even more. I've only been averaging 14.7 miles an hour. So just taking in these beautiful sights. Sometimes, especially when you're going somewhere that you haven't been before, it really does just pay off to just take it in and not worry about your data. I don't know about you guys, but that's what first got me into cycling, was just getting out there, going on adventures, just trying to get away from everyday life, really, and just put a smile on your face. And that's, that's still today what it is all about for me, really. I mean, don't get me wrong, we all like to go fast and uh, maybe even partake in some races or whatever, but I just think you really can't beat this. So if you're contemplating getting out there and, uh, experiencing some new roads going on a bit of an adventure of your own just go do it you definitely won't regret it i promise you
just went through yet another lovely little town there, Buckton, I think it was called. And something else I've noticed that the Yorkshire locals would probably agree with is the abundance of quaint, lovely little country pubs. They seem to be everywhere. Just went past one there and I thought, I reckon pre-2020 Thomas would have uh, loved to pop in there and had a pint. <laughs> so yeah, if you're so inclined, I reckon you could uh, make quite a cool little trip out here and uh, do a little uh, shandy booze cruise. There you go, another one. They're literally everywhere. Bruce Fonts on there. Hang on one sec, let me get my breath back. So that was Park Rash, amazing climb. Yeah, well, if it hadn't been right at the end of my ride, I would have most probably enjoyed it a lot more. But my legs are burning. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that was a struggle. Worth it now that I'm at the top though. 10 miles to go. Got a bit of a descent here. And then I think it's relatively flat. I think there's one little smidgen of a climb, but yeah, I think that's the hard part done. I know this is about the, what, 10th time I've said this, but just look at the views. Spectacular. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it here. The sun's going down. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get myself back to the car now. And then I've got, I think it's about a four hour drive home. Happy days. <laughs> so as always, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.